Hello friends, welcome. So today we're going to be doing another craft with me and we're going to be doing altered playing cards. And I'm doing this specifically for a swap in the Facebook group. So yeah, I wanted to share some of the cards that I have here. And these are the standard size uh, jumbo face. And then these are the jumbo cards. And then I have some more down here uh, that I purchased. I think second hand so a lot of these I got either from uh, the thrift store uh, Goodwill and I'm just showing you here so like this is the jumbo face and then the other one is just the regular standard you can see the difference in the size and then they have also you know cards like this I'm not gonna be using this because I actually got this from Germany uh, when we went to go visit some of the castles there and so uh, this is like more like memorabilia that I purchased uh, from our trip and I just wanted to share some of the pretty pictures that they have um, here so it just kind of shows you where all the uh, different locations and whatnot and all the castles and pictures of inside the castles really really pretty but there's like so many different cards that you can use you can use something like this that has like pictures or any designs that you may have or want to use i also have some of like christmas themes i'm not showing it here but like i have some too that maybe you would want to swap like around christmas time or anything uh of the sort right so i'm just showing kind of examples and the this is a lot smaller well not a lot smaller a, a little bit smaller than the regular a standard size so I'm just showing that there as well and the uh, the regular uh, standard side card size cards excuse me are uh, the same as uh, a baseball trading card or an ATC like we previously uh, did in another video they're uh, I think uh, three and a half inches by two and a half inches or two inches I'm gonna uh, go ahead and measure that here shortly and um, we can have a comparison between uh, the cards but it was brought to my attention that the jumbo cards are kind of hard to find and rare to find um and I didn't know that so uh, we're pretty much gonna be swapping uh standardized cards standard size cards sorry um, but if you would like to swap a jumbo and you, if you have jumbo and you want to use that, then that's fine as well. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be altering both uh, sizes here in this video. So I'm just showing you an example there that you can use all different kinds of sizes. Like I have this really tiny one I altered. You may have seen this in another one of my videos, uh, the flip throughs. And I'm just saying you can kind of use these like layered like that or you can use them as a pocket on the side like a little tuck pocket and just showing different uh, examples here that and uh, ideas uh, for altering your playing cards and just playing around with the different sizes that you can find I found these on Amazon as well uh, I, well, I didn't get mine specifically I got mine off of uh, the thrift store and I found the jumbo ones in a thrift store as well so but i have um seen these on amazon and i've seen them i believe also at dollar tree um so there's a lot of places that you can get them i'm gonna try and link everything below that i use here as well um so everything will be in the description box whatever you see here um i'll have it linked below in the description box and yeah so you can see here this jumbo size is about five inches by I think what four or three uh yeah three and a half so three and a half by five inches is this specific uh jumbo card um yeah playing card so if you would like to join me in craft with me you can go ahead and start pulling out some of uh your items that you're going to be using as well so I'm just sharing here with you what I'm going to be using um i have some glues some glue sticks and some of these pins and some charms i also have these butterfly charms that i'm going to be using here and so you don't have to have all the same things that i have of course i mean just pull out whatever uh, you feel like 
you would like to use for this project and so these are just ideas of things that you can take out i have those sentiments and then i just have some uh textured paste as well and of course i have eyelets so i need the uh uh eyelet tool what is this called um the crocodile right yeah okay so i also have these inks from tim holtz and some black ink and some of my uh stamping uh tools that i'm going to be using as well because i will be uh, using these stamps so this stamp set is so beautiful i love it so much it's actually on sale on amazon right now and i'm gonna have it linked uh below for you uh it's a great price and yeah these stamps are so versatile you can use them with your little circle punches and do so many cute things with this i love the butterflies and everything in those stamps so if you would like them they'll be in the description box below and I also pulled out these stencils and I plan on using them with the uh, textured paste that I showed there previously. I also have these uh, butterfly die cuts that I cut out in uh, some black cardstock and I plan on embellishing the cards with these as well. So you'll see that closer to the end on how I end up uh, embellishing the cards with these. I also have some ribbon here and yeah so um you can go ahead and like i said take out all your items and let's uh have fun and get started with this so i also watched uh, a lot of videos on this before doing uh this one and i there were so many great ideas so i just picked my favorites and yeah and i figured i would use some of their techniques uh natasha from treasure book she shared this technique with the uh napkin and the torn uh papers underneath so i like that concept and i don't want to cover uh the cards completely i want it to still be shown like i want this to actually uh be a altered playing card right like i want you to be able to still see that it was a playing card and not be fully covered and so i'm gonna go with that vintage look here and i'm just going through um these cards and just finding like the more used and wear ones of course these are second hand so they have been played with and um they have you know some wear on them and some dirt and i actually went and took a wipe and cleaned all of these cards down you're gonna see me uh doing that here as well and yeah so i want to make these kind of thick some of them i'm gonna be making a little thicker than others so i'm layering them i, I layered them uh, about three layers of cards just so that it makes it like that real nice thick weight to it and i really like that and so that's what i did here i added four layers i mean not four layers sorry three layers of card um there and i put the one that was damaged in the middle so so yeah and then i went here like i said i was uh, wiping them down um, because some of them were a bit dirty and I also have um, this filer and so since I combined them all together I want to uh, seal those edges to make it look all like one nice flush card you know so that is why I'm doing that with the a filer there i think it just makes the edges look all sealed as one card and yeah so you can uh, do this step or you can skip it it's optional um so here i'm just gonna go ahead and decoupage so i love this part because it's just so relaxing to me i'm still using the same glue and i actually finally finished this glue by the end of this so I'm going to be uh, having to make a new fresh uh, fresh batch here, but I'm happy that that's uh, finally com like finishing up because I've had that same glue for so long that I've been working with. But yeah, so this part is very 
simple as you know we're just going to be putting like that thin layer of glue on the top and spreading it out nice and thin and so when you put this on here if you want it like a really really flat look you can like even it out and and lay it down there really flat like but if you want it to be like textured looking and like all those little layers and crunched up then when you put it down you kind of want to squeeze the papers to the middle and it kind of forms those wrinkles um, if you like that that type of look so some of them I went with a nice uh, clean just uh, very flat uh, sleek look and then the other ones I made like really really textured looking and and very like wrinkly I wrinkled up uh, the papers and when you're doing uh, the decoupage you really want to go um, very light with it because uh, it can tear and yeah you if you want that nice clean uh, look and you don't want any tears in it then I will go very, very soft with the brush. Um, I did have some tears in mine. You can see there, I just teared it when I was cutting that out. Um, yeah, I was being impatient. I didn't want to wait for it to dry. And I wanted to use the rest of uh, that napkin for the next one. So you can see me there trying to uh, even it out now and fix it up. But... Yeah, so this part is, like I said, very self-explanatory. I mean, if you've done decoupage before, then yeah, it's pretty uh, straight to the point. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and skip this part and get to the next one. And so we have here lucky number seven. And I'm wiping this down because, yeah, it was a little dirty. And I want to work with some nice clean cards so you can see me here just cleaning them up real quick and then just adding the glue and layering them so the cards are a lot nice and thicker uh, than they would be with just one layer and yeah I, I really like the way they feel with like the layers versus just the one and I did end up doing a few just one layer and I mean that was okay too it really depends on what you want to do with it um yeah I just like the thicker ones and I like layering it so um there goes that little technique I mentioned earlier where you just add the paper to it and then let it dry and then from there you just peel off the pieces of the paper and it's supposed to give it like a nice effect underneath uh, the decoupage so once you do that layer then you'll just go ahead and add the tissue over it and so on so that's what I was doing here as you can see and if you're mass producing like I am like you can just go ahead and set those aside let them dry and so on and move to the next one so now I have the king here and this what I was planning on doing here I cut the queen in half as you can see there and I'm kind of going to make this tag into a pocket and so since it's a pocket I didn't want it to be so thick so this is just the one layer um, I didn't add uh, three layers like I did the rest of the cards for uh, this specific pocket um, because once you add things into the pocket it's going to be a little more thick and you want it to be a little more flexible to fit items inside the pocket and so that was my idea behind that and I did not make this one super thick but with all the layering and everything else I ended up doing it still felt pretty nice as as a pocket and you'll end up seeing that in a minute here um, so the same thing that I'm doing to the front, I'm doing to the back and yeah, so I'm just adding another layer of napkin and you can see like I just squish it all because I want that texture on this one. So like all the wrinkles and I just like left it like that. I didn't like smooth out the napkin. I just threw it on there and just left the wrinkles on. So if that 
is the technique or the look you would like to go for, then that's, you know, what you would kind of do to get that. Uh, so yeah, I really like the way that looks. I feel like it gave it like a more grungy look and a lot more texture to the card. And at the end, like the cards just feel so good in your hands. Like I just love all the texture and the way everything came out it was so lovely. And so now I'm just ripping off that uh, paper, as I said. So this is kind of the effect that you get. Uh, there's not like a lot of, um the page left on there it's just a very subtle very light uh pieces there behind uh the napkin i think it makes it look you know just another layer it looks really nice on there i really like that effect um so that's just another idea if you would like to do that same effect or you can do a music sheet paper um like i did on another card i think i'm not sure if i showed it yet or i'm gonna show it later on but yeah, I used some like red music sheet um, notes or paper and I like that effect as well. And so I'm just getting some more napkins. You're probably going to, if you're doing this like in bulk the way I am, you're going to need a lot of those uh, layers of napkins. Uh, so just maybe you can set that up in the beginning just set up a whole bunch of different napkins that'll make the process go a lot more smoother and also have several glue sticks available because these glue sticks uh, go pretty quickly as well and so there i am again just layering it on there and adding the glue it's that simple and so I got a little impatient here and some of the items were just taking uh, longer to dry, like the cards. Um, so I went and took out my heating tool and started using that and the kids actually ended up helping me out with that part. And yeah, they started um, drying some of the cards while I was working on some of the other pieces. So that, that helped out a lot as well uh, with the time. And so I'm just showing you here that I cut around it. I don't think I showed this part before. But yeah, I just cut around the tissue paper. And then I go ahead and... Um, and then I go ahead and file the edges down again to make those, those edges really smooth. And some of them I actually ended up cutting um, the corners to make them a little more rounder they started looking a little more square and I wanted a, a rounder look to it so I did end up using my corner punch and you'll probably end up seeing that later on uh, for some of them some of them I left uh, the same and then some of them I also just you know cornered those edges a bit more and made them look a little more circular so now I'm just uh, using my Tim Holtz uh, ink and yeah the distress ink and just making them look aged right at this point so they're looking a little more uh vintage and giving that whole effect that that aged look and i really like this look i think it looks really good especially if you're altering uh playing cards um i think it's just a nice addition to your journals and i think it looks really good um, and it's just cool. It's really fun to do and it just looks really good uh, Cool in your book. I think it's a, a great addition to any journal And so now while the kids are drying those uh, cards I have some time to take out my stamps and so I'm just gonna be stamping and playing around with these new stamps um, Like I said this stamp set is so beautiful. I love all the uh, butterflies and cool little neat uh, sentiments and saying that came with this stamp and so I'm planning on using some of them I just didn't know at this point what I was gonna use and so I just started stamping all over the place on this uh, paper here and you're gonna see that um, I ended up using most of the the stamps here and so yeah, I end up using just some of them, not all of them. And so here we go. You can see the progress now. 
I'm just uh, filing those edges down like I said before just to make it look more uh, cohesive and all the pieces together and I'm using this distress ink to then go over the edges again and just make them really uh, stand out um, and make it a little more darker than the rest of the card because normally I, I feel like when we see aged paper the edges are always darker right and so that's the effect I was going for um, to make those edges stand out more than uh, the other pieces there and so this is the uh, paper that I was mentioning before the music sheet the red music sheet paper um, and I think it went really well with this uh, king of hearts here and yeah, so this is pretty much what I was doing to most of them, but not all of them. So I wanted to make them look a little bit different from each other. And now with the black cards, so this uh, seven of spades is black. I wanted to add some black edges to it, like to give it more of that... Um, umph and just stand out i really like the dark edges on these specifically and so i didn't really do it with the red ones um i did it more with the the black um uh cards right so so yeah i really like this and I think it looks good. And here we go. I am using that corner punch like I mentioned before. And making those um, those edges a little more rounder as you can see. The other ones are more square. And I did the same thing with this uh, Joker uh, card here as well. I rounded those edges. And so I'm just showing you the crocodile like which way it should uh, face. Because I know sometimes like... There's so many times we do this and I actually try it out on a separate piece of paper in case I like mess up. Um, so yeah, it's just, again, I just test it out on, a, on another paper to make sure that um, they come out nice and neat. And actually, while I was doing this, it broke on me. So I had to fix it somehow and put that piece back in. That little... Uh, black piece right there the mechanism that goes uh crunches down that came out and it didn't snap in fully so i'm not sure if i need it like if i can fix this or if i need to buy a new one or what but yeah i'm just showing you exactly like how it should go and you don't want to press down too hard because then it'll kind of like make the front like smashed and it doesn't really look good so you want to uh slowly cramp down on it um, yeah, and then I'm just using this tool right here to, uh, poke the, the, um, trim inside, and yeah, and I think this gives it a really nice effect here, and I'm just adding this bolt pin with a charm to it. And as you can see, I just added eyelets to all of these. Oh, and I also did some stitching around the edges. So I sewed like some wiggly lines all around it. I think it gave it a really nice effect. And yeah, I was just showing you that stamp sentiment. That was from the stamp set from earlier. And now I'm going ahead and gluing um, these butterflies on to the middle of the card here. As you can see, and I'm doing two layers. I was contemplating on doing three layers, but I decided uh, to just do two. Like the one bigger butterfly and the one uh, smaller one in the center. I think it looks really good. And so now I am just trying to figure out where to put this sentiment. And it says, don't forget to fly. And like I said, that was part of the sentiment pack and then i said wait a minute i feel like i want to add something extra here and so i went to my machine and i grabbed a bunch of uh this um thread the black thread and i just bunched it up at the bottom here and then i just went and put that sentiment right back on top of it 
to give it more uh, texture and layers on here I think it came out really good and I like that effect and if you like this too then you can also uh, do that to yours I think it looks really cute um, I think any like anything you can add extra that just gives it that extra layer just makes it look really good and I like it on the corner here as you can see like it almost looks like a little little bow on the, on the corner it looks so cute the um, the trim there I love that and so now I'm just looking at what uh, butterfly charm I should put on here and I was just mixing and matching playing around with a couple different colors and yeah and so you're gonna see I end up picking uh, not this one so this was the second one I tried on there and the picking more like a silver one I think that was it was like a black and yeah kind of like silvery because I wanted it to like a little bit stand out I don't know I like that it looks really good and so yeah we're uh coming to a close end here so I wanted to show you this one and this is the one I was telling you with the pocket and I think this pocket came out really cute so I put the king and the queen together of course and then we have the joker like the cash money in the middle there <laughs> um and yeah I think that looks really good and then I have this king with the uh, key to the castle there, the little heart and the the key charm. I think that looks really good there. And I put it in gold because I like the gold with the red. I think it looks really good. The warm tones all together. And so yeah, all of these I just, like I showed you, I did the stitching there. And now I'm just going to go ahead and decorate these and you can see here I added some paste to this and I'm just adding some extra uh, ink some distress ink to blend that paste in so that's just again another way to add texture and this one says spread your wings and I just stamped that separately on cardstock and then cut it out and place it there. And now I'm just kind of adding uh, some black speckle ink all over the place. And I kind of made a boo-boo. Like the thing with doing the uh, paint this way or like, you know, you don't know where it's going to fall. It's like you're taking a risk. So you can see those big blotches just fell on the queen's face on the bottom there. And yeah, I was like, oh no, <laughs> I didn't want it to be on her face like that. So I went and took a wipe and uh, most of it actually came off of her face. And so I ended up putting a sentiment there anyway. So you kind of uh, corrected that little, that little hiccup we had there. And so, yeah, this is how they came out. And I hope you enjoyed this. I really love the way they came out. I think they came out cute. Lots of, um. I wasn't sure actually what I was going to do in the beginning, right? It just ended up coming along and coming together. I just, like I said, grab things that you think um, you would like to work with and play around with it. And so if you're here at the end, uh, don't please don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I appreciate it so much. Also, go ahead and comment your thoughts uh, in the comment section. Let me know that you made it here to the end and yeah if you create these i would love to um see your creations um and i hope everyone has fun with the swap if if uh, you're here on youtube and you want to join us on the swap you can just go ahead and email me um and yeah you can join in on the swap as well as long as it's within the time frame of this week and i will see you later bye